We're now going to look at variable scope and we're going to take a quick example of creating a variable and trying to access this within a function because this is something that you might come across and might seem a little strange um, that it doesn't work. So when we talk about variable scope, we talk about the visibility um, that other parts of your code have over variables uh, in other parts of your code. So let's take a look at a quick example and I'm going to say name equals Alex. And then I'm going to create a function um, called get name. And within this function, I'm going to echo out name. Now, don't worry too much about the syntax of this function. We'll be going over functions later. But I'm going to go ahead and echo get name. Uh, sorry, I'm going to call get name. Now, if we take a look at this code line by line, we see that we set the variable name. We create a function that echoes name, or we could in fact return name, but for now we'll just echo name. Um, so we'd think, yeah, well, this will find the variable name up here. It will echo it out um, once we call the function. So let's take a look at what actually happens here. Well, we get a notice in PHP telling us that we have an undefined variable name. But looking at this code, we actually do have a defined variable called name. So why hasn't this worked? Well, within functions in PHP, the scope um, of the function um, in terms of the variables that we use um, need to be defined within this function. So for example, if we were to say, get rid of this and place it within our function, this will then work. So if we refresh, we get the value that we expect. But because initially it was outside of this function, it can't find this variable name because it's looking for a function that's been defined within this, uh, looking for the variable that's been defined within the scope. So how can we combat this? Now, what we're going to do now is demonstratory, so it's not necessarily considered good practice. Uh, there are other ways to work properly with this, for example, using classes. But um, we'll look at how we can actually combat this and, and how it makes sense. And this is by using the global keyword. So by using the global keyword, we can basically create a variable or, or define that we want a variable to be accessed globally. So I'm just going to say global name and that's it. So now what's going to happen is name up here is going to become global and therefore we can then use it within this function. So if we go ahead and refresh now, there's no change. So the code that was previously not working is now working. Now there's a hell of a lot of information on the PHP uh, in the PHP documentation about this. So it's a good idea to take a look around, look at some examples and understand how this works. But basically, um, when we deal with scope, if you find that variables that you're using are out of scope, um, you might need to either change the way you work or if you absolutely need to define a, a variable as global, uh, you can go ahead and do that.